Hi guys, I am in Barcelona with one of my best friends, Bianca. You have seen her in my previous vlogs. We had a fabulous four, five days in Barcelona and today is our last day. I didn't want to vlog throughout the whole holiday because I wanted to relax, have some time with my bestie and enjoy the sun, the beach. But we did go see some beautiful places, we did some sightseeing and I did film a little bit. So throughout this last vlog, I'll be vlogging today, it's the last, the last days I mentioned. We will go to the luxury shops, we are actually on the street, on that main street with all the luxury stores. So I'll go film around and maybe I'll film one or two stores and then I'll show you maybe some footage from the previous days, show you where we went, what we visited, all the places. I decided to do it that way instead, instead of vlogging throughout the whole trip. Um, I just didn't want to think about filming all the time while I was on holiday. Um, so yeah, that's the plan for today. I'm excited for the luxury shopping here in Barcelona. I think it will be so much fun. They have all the nice shops. So yeah, I hope you enjoy this video. We are actually sat down for a quick lunch now, waiting for lunch, and then we are heading to the shops. We always order the same. <laughs> Hi guys, a quick voiceover before we head to the shops. So I mentioned I vlogged a little bit the previous days and I wanted to show you where we went, what we did. So here you can see a little bit of Alueve, which was so stunning. But we also visited Casa Batlo. It is a building in the center of Barcelona. It was designed by Anthony Gaudi and it is considered one of his masterpieces. It is definitely a work of art, a must-see, must-visit. It is a remodel of a previously built house that was redesigned in 1904 by Gaudi and has been refurbished several times after that. I really loved the irregular oval windows and the stonework. Also, you can see the rooftop resembles a dragon, like the scales of a dragon. It's so beautiful in person. We booked an audio guide, which I would highly recommend. And it took about an hour to see everything. Look how pretty is the Tiffany store. Wow, and it's quite big as well. And the building is stunning. Okay, there is a big Rolex store. I might go in and check if they have any watches. Although you guys know how it is with Rolex now. You can't really walk in and buy a Rolex. But I will check. Because last time I checked on Heathrow, they actually had one in full gold available to buy. So you never know. I guess it's worth checking. But these are probably display only. Okay, so just checked Rolex. They didn't have any watches available to buy. There is a long wait list. Um, so yeah, you can't just walk in and buy, I just wanted to update you quickly. Van Cleef is right next to Rolex. I recently went to Van Cleef and actually tried on quite a few pieces in London. I'll link my vlog above. There is also a little queue, so it's really sunny. I'm not gonna queue, I'm gonna show you what's on display. Do they have, oh, they have prices. So you can see the prices in euros here. Let's see the prices here. They have Mother of Pearl. Love this watch. Okay, next we have Hermes. I love the wooden detail. It's like very typical Hermes. Actually, the store is really big. I'm surprised compared to the one in Lisbon. Look at this one with the horses. Love the color. They have the large CDC bracelets. These are quite expensive because they're croc. And here is the slim one, which is my favorite. A beautiful signature orange cushion. Dreamy, dreamy. I love their bangles. Check out the watches. You won't believe the price of this one. 74,000 euros. Oh, I love this hat. Let's see some of the bags. This is the space, by the way. You can see the store is actually quite spacious. 
Oh, look at the little horses. Evelyn on the display. We have a bright green Constance. Look at this one with the little wheels. Would you buy this if you got an offer? A picota in very light grey. Here is another Evelyn in gold colour. I've never seen this before. It's a little felt box. Look how cute. And this is the Hermes Frisbee. I love this new bag. Also the belt. We have some clogs in croc over here. Let me show you some of the shoes. I spy with my little eye. Can you guys see how nice are these? I'm obsessed. Look at these orans. Which color do you prefer? These are in ostrich. This is the price if you're curious. The selection of exotic orans here is great. They're comfortable, but they're a bit high, so I'm worried I'll just trip and fall. You know, I actually can't believe they have these in my size. They're sold out everywhere in the UK. They also have this style, it's slightly different. The heel is the platform is different and there is an ankle strap. Let me know which ones you prefer. These feel a bit more secure. Okay, next up Fendi. I love the window displays. They have some of the new bags. Oh my god, this one is so cute, isn't it? I haven't seen this before. I have seen this one in London, but not this one. This is really nice guys i'm in love look at this cute wicker peekaboo it's a classic it's in wicker perfect for summer and the size is cute yes please it is a bit stiff and hard to get in this color of the peekaboo is stunning this is separate And this is really adorable. I love this bucket bag. Very summery again. Oh, I love the rubber detailing. Also comes in light denim with this braided fabric handle. These are really cute. Bianca's obsessed with this one. It also comes in denim and leather. The ultimate holy grail Himalaya. Hmm, these are not bad, they're new, cute for summer. Okay, these are my favorite, they caught my eye instantly. Okay, I have to try them on. Oh, they're so comfortable, guys. They're padded, so the sole is so soft. And look how sparkly. Oh, these as well I love. I love everything like raffia. Let me show you some of the other styles. These are new with this Fendi baguette heel. These are cute. Let's see over here. Oh, another sparkly pair. Unfortunately, I don't find this heel that comfortable. I've actually tried these before, this style, I mean, and the heel is not very comfortable. Mm, let's see over here, the classic Colibris in denim, love. Oh, and these ones, yes, love them. Okay, here is another pair in raffia. I love them, comfortable. Love the heel in gold, baguette heel. But I feel that they're a bit too round. Oh, love this minty one with the flower handle. I 
look at these exotics again minty lizards i want all of these here on this shelf this one as well these are the newest baguette bags they are basically like a phone holder okay here it is it's satin and i love this color it comes with a, a thin leather strap this one is with a chain strap and you can wear in three different styles this is from the mark jacobs collection this one looks a bit tacky i don't like the crystals on this let me show you some of the ready to wear we have a fendi tank top here and the new zodiac collection oh look at this bag <laughs> so this is the new collection they have so many silk pieces with the zodiac signs more bags from the Marc Jacobs collection so this ribbon it's, it's actually removable you can unclip all right so just finished at Fendi wanted to let you know they have a really good tax return so if you spend more than a thousand you get you get 13.7 percent back and the more you spend it goes up to 15 point something percent so actually a really good tax return and they had some beautiful bags they had everything guys but my favorite is the one on the window that I showed you in the wicker peekaboo I haven't seen that anywhere so actually that's going straight on my wish list we have Versace right after Fendi. A little sneak peek inside. Let's go in quickly. This is from the Dua Lipa collection. There are matching shoes, heels, and the tote bag. Looks like they booked out a little bit. Hi guys, a little break from shopping. Just wanted to show you the famous La Sagrada Familia, which is the largest unfinished Catholic church in the world. It was designed by Gaudi and construction started in 1882. It's still being built and expected to be completed around 2026. Picnic mini Kelly lookalikes. This clutch is cute. Laura Piana wants to quickly have a look if they have the wicker bags that I showed you in one of my videos. I'll link it above. They probably won't have it. I do like this style as well, but I want to check if they have the wicker. Do you prefer the purple or the, the, this one? You prefer the red? Hello, hola, ¿qué tal? Sí, 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 gracias, señora. Okay, initially I liked the purple, but actually the red is so much nicer. Blues, uh, sometimes green. Uh, usually the zip is silver. Yeah. Okay, this is way too big. Prada, going in Prada. 
Of course, some raffia on the window, the raffia hat. They have so many of these totes. This is the sparkly pink reissue. I have this in black. But let me show you the blue one. The blue is stunning with today's outfit. Let me try it on. Right? I think yes. Let and what's the tax refund? For 2100 It's 14 though. 14.5%? Yes. 14. That's a really good, yeah. Yeah. They have more with long straps. This one is so good for summer. Oh, the black looks very elegant as well. Yes, maybe. Can you remove this? Yes, yeah, okay. the yellow, yeah. I would say the black one looks a bit more elegant yeah. because of the black trim but the white is a bit more summery and this one will go better with what I'm wearing today. Let me know which one you prefer. This will look so nice with a all black outfit in summer. Of course the white goes better with what I'm wearing today. Hi guys, another sightseeing break. So we did visit the Arc de Triomphe, which looks so majestic and it leads to the Citadella Park, which we also visited. Hopefully I'm not butchering the name. The monument was designed by the architect Joseph Villaseca and it served as the main entrance to the World's Fair. From there we headed to the Parc de la Citadella or Citadel Park. <laughs> Look at this little guy enjoying the swim and his little brother or sister. <laughs> the fountain was breathtaking with the beautiful gold horses, the dragons guarding it, again designed by Gaudi. It was one of my favorite places. It felt like an oasis in the middle of the city. It was so relaxing. We spent quite some time in the park. It was free to visit. For decades following its creation in the mid 19th century the park was the city's only green space. It is 77 acres and it includes the city zoo which unfortunately we didn't have time to visit but I would have loved to. There is also a small lake and you can hire a boat. Look at that it looks so beautiful I wanted to jump in a boat. It was so hot that day. The grounds also includes the parliament and some museums. very beautiful. All the buildings here look really stunning. Oh my god, oh my god, this is insane. How gorgeous. I've never seen this before. It must be new. 
some of the classic monogram pieces I have this cutie over here can you believe the nano speedy in gold is available check this out oh, I love these earrings look at the mini ones let me zoom in all right, so I picked a few bags to try on and show you. Look at this one. This capucine in this color caught my eye. It is absolutely stunning in this very light baby green. Also, of course, I've never seen this one in London. Actually, it was sold out. So I wanted to see it in person and try it on. Can you guys see the almost like holographic, like iridescent effect? And of course, I had to try this one in tweed and it's the most stunning tweed i'm not sure if it's showing um i'm trying to show you in different lighting but i'll try it on in a bit i'll try all of them and show you this is probably my favorite though it's the large size it comes with a strap let me know which one of these do you prefer comment down below the color this is a bit heavier because it's larger This is another one that I really like. And this one has exotic handle, which they told me is quite durable. Some sandals for summer in pink. Oh, the pink are really cute, aren't they? These are new, I think. I haven't seen these before. White monogram and you have two color options. The color of these as well look at it it's so beautiful it will go with everything this is a new style oh look at the heel how cute with the flower signature Louis Vuitton flower and you have the leather strap that resemble the luggage i would say they have more styles with the same heel and these ones with the bow. This is the new By The Pool collection and this skirt is so lightweight. It's silk. I wish you could touch it through the screen and love these shoes. There is a matching bag as well. Let's see, there is a t-shirt. This is cute. I love the skirt in white with the luggage tag. This skirt is so gorgeous. Classic t shirt, love.
serpentine bracelet in white gold with diamonds. I tried this in my previous self just vlog as well in yellow gold. Okay, let's see on the window because there is a bit of a queue. They have this crystal one. This one was 14,000 in London. They do have the wallet on chain, which is the same. The new platforms with the, I don't know if you can guys see, they have little pearls on them. And this with the lion charm, this is a lot more expensive because of that lion charm. Here it is up close. Look guys, they have the bow clutch that I showed you in my London vlog. I'll link it above. And also these little ones. Actually, this book tote looks much better in person. Oh, look at these sunglasses. Look at the frame. The green cuties to die for. I prefer the green because the other one is Maybe a bit too pink for my liking. These are the only tweed ones. Oh, you have... Yeah, inside it's yellow as well. Look, the sequins have little CCs. Let me quickly show you around. This is the new Metier d'Art collection 2023. But you can have a look at my London vlog because I show you everything. So you have this one. I like this one with the pearls. It's great for every day. Look at this beauty, all sequined. And just looking at some jewelry, they don't have much to choose from. These are cute. You guys know I love hoops. Look at this Gabrielle, it's all sequined with CCs. So here are the shoes. They actually have quite a big boutique here. One of my top places to visit was Park Guell. Unfortunately, we couldn't even enter because the tickets were sold out and we didn't book in advance. After that, we headed to the National Palace. It is built on a hill and it is a home to the National Art Museum. I was a bit disappointed that the fountains by the stairs were not operating that day. When you Google images, you can see that the fountains almost create the illusion that there is a waterfall in front of the palace. And trust me, I was very excited to see that, but still I would say it's worth the visit because you can see wonderful panoramic views of Barcelona. Okay guys, that's all. I really hope you enjoyed this vlog. Let me know what you think. I will see you again in my next video. Bye!